Also in the news, President Mohamed Buhari changed the name of the Nigerian Prison Service to Nigerian Correctional Service after signing the Nigerian Correctional Service Act 2019 into law. This act repeals the Prison Act and changes the name from Nigerian Prison Service to Nigerian Correctional Service, otherwise known as the Correctional Service. The bill was passed by the 8th National Assembly, but the signing came over two months after the tenure of the Assembly has expired. The act also provides for empowering inmates through the deployment of educational and vocational skills training programs and facilitating incentives and income generation through custodial centers, farms and industry. And joining us live now in the studio is Superintendent Rotsumi Oladokun, PRO Nigerian Correctional Service, Lagos State Command. Thank you for joining us on News on the Hour this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Now I want to ask you, what informed the change of name from prisons to correctional center? Well, as the name connotes, yeah. emphasis is on correction. The perception before either two was that prison connotes punitive punishment. But now, in line with contemporary happenings of this uh, world globally, emphasis is on character sh uh, modification, character shift and yeah. training. So that's why emphasis now is on correction. So the whole administration of criminal justice system and penal management is shifting to correction and also nigeria is a signatory to the united nations standard minimum rule of treatment of detainee yes. known as mandela rule. so all this when you put all these ing ingredients together it necessitated the change to corrections so emphasis now at the world word keyword is corrections now we're, we're having pressures of this question um center being congested and inmates being in deplorable conditions what, what really is reality on ground? Well, I'll uh, beg to differ with one, okay. the latter part of your statement. Inmates being in deplorable, deplorable conditions? conditions. Oh, right. Congestion, yes, is a public, it's public knowledge because the Nigerian Correctional Service is one of the key stakeholders in administration of criminal justice. We have the prosecuting agency, Ministry of Justice, Judiciary, and the Nigerian Correctional Service. So it's a blowback from other key stakeholders. The Nigerian Correctional Service does not arrest, neither do they prosecute. They only manage both those on awaiting trial and convicted um, inmates. Yes. So, as it is in Lagos, because I am deployed in Lagos, we have congestion in some of our custodial centers, but we have a good working relationship with key stakeholders, the judiciary, Lagos State Judiciary, the Attorney General of Lagos State that we have, and we also have deployed what we know within the service as a correctional information management system. Okay. That's why biometrics and bio data of inmates are taken, and we also have a case tracking. So when we put all this together, yes, it's not perfect because of the congestion, but we are doing our best, and the service is doing the best. And the same way, the Controller General is committed to making sure that as best as possible that the um, numbers of awaiting trial inmates, because they are the one that swells the number of prison population, yes. now known as uh, correctional service. So we need to bring them down. So we've always been liaising with all these key stakeholders to bring that down population. Yeah, but, but if the prisons are congested, that, that, go, that goes without saying that um, manpower, there might, might be a shortage in manpower, supply of daily toiletries, feeding, uh, means at the end of the day that the capacity for the prison it's, has been outweighed. So isn't it possible at that point in time for, for deplorable conditions to be experienced by these inmates? Well, I would, you know, as I said, yeah. uh, there, we have challenges, yes. right, okay. that's true. But there are also avenues with the, in the new Nigerian Correctional Service Act in which those avenues can be treated and okay. solved. We have, as I told you, we have now the um, non-custodial measures. So inmates are not processed to come into the custodial side, the prison as you know it before. Okay. So we are also enlightening and advocating and engaging with our stakeholders. That look at the options of non-custodial, where we have the community service, parole, probation, restorative justices, to actually process those inmates on minor Reparative justices. Yes. Those inmates that have minor offenses, you don't need to give them custodial sentences or those who have been unduly imprisoned well unduly imprisoned like you rightly said yes but those are not on our own threshold they belong to the 
appropriate courts yes, please. as they may be. Okay, all right. Now, let's talk about the work that goes into this correctional um, center. Sex, um, uh, yes, what, center. Yes. yes. What, do you, what, what do you guys do to empower these, these inmates as they, as they serve their prison terms, their jail terms? Yeah, we have two major broad um, spectrum. We have the um, vocational and we have the educational um, part. Okay. Vocational inmates are exposed to a lot of vocational training, carpentry, woodwork, um, IT, and also barbing, making paint. So uh, they do that. A case point is the, my uniform. The controller of the Lagos Command Director that it's going to be sewn by inmates in our care. So we teach them, we empower them, and we have to give them that opportunity to earn income from their vocational aspect. The educational aspect, aspect. Currently, we have over 200 inmates at various stages of uh, classes of degrees okay. at the National Open University. Um, two are doing their PhD. Are doing their PhD degree. In Lagos State here. In Lagos State. Yeah. In 2018, the Nigerian Correctional Service won the Confucius Award on Adult, adult Literacy. I, it was based on the education opportunities that was available to, and availed to them while in custody. So we engage them, and a lot of them are actually doing well. All right. And, and now finally, there's a proposal for amnesty for some criminals by the Lagos State government. Tell us about it and why this is necessary and how you determine to, for those to benefit um, from, from this Well, act. amnesty yeah. is part of the constitutional uh, prerogative of the governor of the state and it does this through the implementation and advice of the there's a prerogative uh, council the advice of the governor on certain criteria. Okay. And we also look at the good nature and industry of the particular image. So for them to qualify, they have certain guidelines. Has it been industrious? Has it changed his ways? Has it been committed to improving himself? So when he's out he can commit contribute his own quota to society. So those are some of the criteria that we do because we are responsible for their behavioral change. Okay. They need to change and we are doing our best. The officers and men of the Nigerian Correctional Service are doing their best. We're always on the front line in penal management to ensure that those that are within our custodies are reformed and are re rehabilitated and integrated back into society. Superintendent wrote to me, Olado Kum, PRO, Nigerian Correctional Services, Lagos State Command. Thank you for being part of the news this right. afternoon. Thank you for having me.